Defcon, what is up? Buff Boy here, and we are talking to JP. What the? F what are we doing here, man? What are we talking about? Uh, yeah. Well, nice to see everybody, Defcon. Uh, my name is Punk Rock or JP. Uh, this is my 17th Defcon, and this uh, past Friday morning, yesterday morning, we ran the seventh or the 14th uh, version of the Defcon bike ride. What, so. We started it back in 2011, where uh, if any of you have heard of Bruce and Heidi Potter, who run ShmooCon, uh, I sent Bruce an email. I said, hey, we should do a bike ride at DEF CON. And he replied to me and said, dude, it's like June 15th. We can't ride to Vegas in like five weeks or six weeks. So uh, we, uh, we started a bike ride at DEF CON that year. And then uh, in 2013, we rode bikes across the U.S. We raised money for the EFF nice. and uh, stopped the DEF CON and continued on to San Francisco. You, so you, I mean, are you riding, you're riding through the desert in this like 110 degree? Not really. Just some crazy So, crazy So what here. we do is, uh, th like every year, there's you know we put a blog up on our website, it's like globeride.org, uh, and basically everybody rents bikes at a bike shop about five miles out towards the mountains. And uh, we, we, we uh, started about 7.30. We ride out to Red Rock. And it's great because it's about a one one to two percent uh, grade uphill, and then you get to the scenic overview. You get to like you know get inspired by the view of the mountains, and you know decompress from Black Hat and everything. Yep. And then you turn around, and you just cruise home. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about Vegas. You're like just ride out like 15 minutes, and you're in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so this year uh, we had our first, uh, I guess I'll call it accident, and we we had a, one of our riders. Uh, Ran out of like pavement, ended up in the gravel, and like kind of wiped out. Had a, um, but we, we uh, he, he turned out to be okay. He's okay. So All 14 right. years, you know, it was the first time. You know, it's kind of, uh, you know, but we have a follow car. We bring Gatorade to the turnaround. So it's you know, it's it's as um, comfortable as it could be riding. You know. 25 miles in Vegas. What, what do you, are, are you, are you riding, do you like have a chopper? What are you riding on, man? What do you got? No, these are bicycles. Oh my God. He just figured out <laughs> his bicycles. I know, okay, so I saw your event and I was like, oh, it's bicycles. And then you started talking to me right now and I was like, oh, that, we're talking about motorcycles. No joke. So, because when I did see the event, actually, I, um, so, <laughs> well, uh, aren't no, I They are definitely bicycles. <laughs> no, they are definitely bicycles. I've ridden a motorcycle, but no, we actually bicycled across the U.S. <laughs> Like well, we pedaled. And I, um, so, so that year we gave a right talk now. at Sky Talks and we figured out like how many times we had cranked the pedals, how many like heartbeats we had. We just did some fuzzy math and like by the time we got to like DEFCON, we had like pedaled like nine million or like 91 million times or something in a circle. Well, you're fucking insane because if you're riding bicycles out here in this it's godforsaken heat, you're, you're pretty wild. So much credit and respect to that. But so just so everybody knows, uh, if you're watching this video, we usually get about 70 people that show up. Uh, we had about we had 63 this year. Uh, usually we're limited by the number of bicycles the bike shop has. Uh, and uh, but we always get you know those crazy people who uh, will bring their own. They'll fly them in. Uh, and when you do the ride, there's this extra scenic loop you can do, which I've never done. But I've, I definitely you know I have the drunk hacker who shows up. I'm gonna do this crazy loop. But it, like like it's no it's like. 1,200 feet of elevation in like two and a half miles, which if you know anything about cycling, that's pretty intense, especially if you're hungover, especially if it's 95 degrees out. Um, but people go and do this loop, and you can't turn around, you can't go back. So if, if you, if, once you commit, you're either walking your bike, or you're not, you know, that's the only way out. What, so, can, I, can I bring my unicycle? You could. All right. I, I'll, I don't know if I recommend it. I mean, yeah, no. You ever ride over a cattle guard in a unicycle? N not yet. Right. Not I yet. This is a first for everything. But we, <laughs> but we have a support ride. So, you know, we were um, we were on the way back with our injured rider yesterday. And there's these two guys who um, had probably, like, the last two bikes at the bike shop. And they must have been, like, mountain bikes weighed, like, 30 pounds. Oh, God. And they're, like, way overdressed. They ran out of water. And they were still headed out. And uh, we kind of, we said, hey, man, like, we don't think you should keep going because it's, you know, 96 degrees now. By the time you get there, it'll be 100. Yeah. And we're all going to the con. So, like, we picked them up, brought them back. They were grateful. So, but, man, but, so we got support. My point is, is that even if it's, you think it's, you, you know, it's too crazy, we got you covered. It's a no-drop ride. We look out for everybody. Dude, yeah, I, I might be great. there next year, man. That's, that awesome, yeah, well, it's, it's that sounds awesome, especially it's all about supporting each other. If one of us falls down, we all yeah. Do but it's also like if you're here all week, it's a good break from like the strip yeah. for for a few days, you know, yeah. for a few hours, just to like you know get get out of get out of Dodge a little bit, burn some alcohol off. Well, shit, man. I, I'm glad we got to sit here and talk, and I, I'm glad I got to learn a little bit more about yeah. this. Uh, I, I want to make a plug. 
for the punk rock museum. Yeah, let's do it. I went to the punk rock museum yesterday. Yeah. It How is was it? baller. It is? Like, I, I was there for like four hours. Like, I, I was supposed to be hanging out, and we, we went and got a tour with this, uh, the bassist of, from Bad Cop, Bad Cop. And uh, super cool. Like, I sat on Mike Ness's, in Mike Ness's living room. I sat on Kurt Cobain's couch. Saw all these, like, records that, like, I, you know, you know how you come here and, like, there's nostalgia because there's, like, a, a floppy disk or whatever. It's, like, the same thing, but it's just punk rock. That's here in Vegas. I, I know it so, opened recently. Uh, definitely have to check that out. Yeah, it's all, like, I, don't, I do not work for them. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to say, you work for but them? My, hand, but my handle's punk rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? it is. So, you got to go. Yeah, so. Well, dude, punk rock. Thanks, man. Dude, I, thanks, I man. I appreciate you. Dude, thanks, sir. And, and make sure to bike safe. And uh, I'll be seeing yeah. you out we'll tonight. We'll see you next year, yeah. Absolutely. All right, take care. Cheers.